They distributed posters of little Julian around the town, hoping that someone might have seen the two. I know him. He looks familiar. That's Dream. Oh my god, I knew, I knew it. Look at his chin. Yo. What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at the missing boy who went missing for 13 years. I'm not gonna lie, if I was missing for 13 years, I'm gonna just come up with a new persona. I'm gonna tell everyone my dick grew like six inches bigger. We're gonna see what this video is about. If you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Twitch. Links in the description. We're live every day. Without further ado, let's get started. What would you do if you found out that your life was a lie? My life is already a lie. I thought I had an eight inch penis. I woke up from my dream. Life is tough. When this teen went to apply to college, he never imagined that he would discover a horrible secret about his life. So let's dive into the story of the teen who solved his own missing person case when he had no idea he was missing. Nigga, how you don't know you're missing, nigga? Imagine his ass got abducted when he's a child. <gasps> Imagine you realize the people that were taking care of him weren't even his real parents. Bro, I'd be scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'd actually cry. It all started when JJ, a senior at Cleveland High School, began applying for college in 2015. Okay. He noticed that his applications kept being sent back and okay. decided to go to his guidance counselor for help. The two soon realized what the problem was. JJ's name did not match his social security number. This was really weird. But it did okay. not prepare them for what they were about to discover. What During happened? their search for the issue, they came across a missing persons poster from 2002, which okay. showed a five year old boy that looked a lot like JJ. The boy had been missing for 13 years, and his name was Julian Hernandez. But the strangest thing was the details matched those of JJ, and the man who was said to have taken him was none other than his dad. Why though? Like, I know they're gonna explain it later, but why would you need to do that? I hope they explain like the mother was either an asshole or like whatever. So how was that even possible? Okay. As JJ and the school counselor continued to dig into this, they discovered a horrible secret that would change JJ's life. What it looked happened? like JJ was Julian Hernandez. He was born on March 31st, 1997 in Birmingham, Alabama and was a bubbly and sweet boy with chubby cheeks and a contagious smile. He loved okay. fishing, watching movies, and eating at Chuck E. Cheese. That explains why he was missing. The nigga liked eating at Chuck E. Cheese. Probably the Chuck E. Cheese mascot was the one who abducted you. I mean, it's probably not even your dad. Why are you eating Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Y'all know the Chuck E. Cheese pizza is like, it's just not even connected, right? I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I, I never went to Chuck E. Cheese. I wouldn't even know if that shit is fire. We don't know his mother's name, but what we know is that she was 19 years old and a college student when she had Julian. Damn. His dad Dad's name was Bobby Hernandez. He was several years older than Julian's mom, probably okay. in his mid 30s and a Navy veteran. He lived in the same apartment complex as Julian's mom and the two were in a relationship but later broke up. On August 28, 2002, when Julian was five years old, his mom had gone out to run some errands while his dad was left to babysit. However, okay. instead of babysitting, Bobby took some of Julian's clothes and toys, withdrew all his money, and left with Julian. Julian's okay. mom was horrified when she came back and could not find her son. A note had been left behind saying that Bobby had taken Julian. She was completely devastated, and she went and reported her son's disappearance to the police. Okay. Authorities started by by checking Bobby's house, work, and all the places he usually hung out. But he and Julian were nowhere to be found. They distributed posters of little Julian around the town, hoping that someone might have seen the two. I know him, he looks familiar. That's Dream! Oh my god, I knew, I knew it! Look at his chin! I'm not gonna lie to y'all though, if I did have a girl at this age and she decided to take the child, by all means, please go ahead. I'm not gonna be searching for him. I need to do a lot of things with my life. I cannot take care of a child. This is weird, I would expect the dad to just leave. The fact that he wanted to take his son, I don't know, I hope he has an amazing, reason for this because he's doing a reverse black dads would do. Took the sun. I don't know why I said that. But nothing came up. Rumors started spreading that Bobby might be hiding out in Florida, but when authorities went there to check, they could not find him. Tips came in from different corners of the country and the police followed each one of them, but none panned out. Okay. Months and years went by without success, and Julian's heartbroken mom started thinking that she would never see her son again. Okay. Over the years, new missing persons posters were drawn up with an age progression image of Julian and his father. Meanwhile, Julian was living in a different state under the name of JJ, while okay. his dad went by the name of Jonathan Mangina. He knew nothing about his mother other than what his dad told him, that his mom had abandoned him. This must have been very devastating for him, and he probably grew up hating her. 
her. But despite all this, Julian lived a normal life, completely unaware of his dad's dark secret. Okay. He got good grades in school, played sports, and hoped to go to college. So now, seeing himself in the missing person database was something that he was completely unprepared for. He could not believe that his dad had been lying to him all along, and that 13 years of his life were nothing but a big lie. On September 26, 2002, just before everything was exposed to the media, an anonymous Reddit user, who was believed to be Julian, wrote this on Reddit. Sometime between the ages of three and five, my dad took me against a court order away from my mother without even me knowing this. He changed my name and SSN and did something similar for himself. I have lived my entire life up until a few days ago, oblivious to this fact. The first place you decided to go to is on Reddit. I mean, yes, uh, Reddit will give you answers, but not the police. Maybe not ask your dad, yo dad, why'd you take me from my mom? Yeah, I'm gonna go to a subreddit and ask him what, what the hell should I do if this hypothetically happened. I'm not gonna lie, it's no wonder you got abducted. My bad, Julian. He then went on to say that he was not angry with his dad and that he still loved him, even after learning everything. His main concern was how he could correct his school records with his real name and social security number and still have time to apply for scholarships for college. He also wanted to keep his dad out of trouble. My father has done his best to deal with the mistakes he has made and he clearly regrets them. He had raised me well. I wouldn't have done so well in school without Okay, his okay, do you dad. When asked him if he remembered anything about his mother, he said the only thing he remembered was that she was young. I remember that she was still young at the time, probably early 20s. See, my mom and dad had a deal that if they broke up, my dad would take me, but my dad got a call from a judge ordering him to return to my mother, and that's when he decided to run. The post has since been deleted, and there's no way of verifying if it was really Julian who wrote it. Though, everything about it just points to the fact that it could have been him. It probably now, was. Now, Julian's was. dad was later arrested and charged with several counts of kidnapping, tampering with records, and forgery. All because he loved his son? Now I'm just playing. You shouldn't have done that. The fact that he got arrested because he wanted his son. Free bro, keep bro, I, I don't know. Dad gave him a good life. He's like, I feel like he should get pardoned a bit, especially if the son rocked with him. When his mom learned that her son had been found, she couldn't believe it. She had gotten her hopes up so many times and had been disappointed over the years that she now wondered whether this time would be different. And it was. She later released a statement saying, our family was overjoyed this week to locate Julian and learn that he is safe. We want to thank everyone for their prayer and support during Julian's disappearance. Okay. During the sentencing hearing, the prosecutor described Bobby as a con man who led his son to believe that his mother abandoned him, which was not true. He said Bobby threatened to take the boy away from his mom if she ever broke up with him, asking the judge to give him a heavy sentence for depriving his son of a relationship with his- Let's mom. be honest, the mom has, she has the right to be mad. I'm sorry, if I have a child and I did not see my child for 13 years, presumably thinking he's missing, I'm gonna be heated. I'm gonna be like, yo, what the hell? Like there's so much years that I could have built a bond with my child and, and you go you'll take him away from, like that we'll see how much the dad gets but as far as the mom i, I can see why she's mad mother. While Julian's mother was in court though, she asked the media not to take her picture. Her lawyer read an emotional statement on her behalf, describing the moment she realized that her little boy was gone. I didn't know if he was gone forever. As the sun went down that night and it started to get dark, I wondered about him. Where was he? As the days turned into weeks, she got into a deep depression and could no longer eat or sleep. All she could do was think about finding her son. I stopped sleeping and eating. For months I stayed on a friend's couch because I couldn't bear to be in the apartment that we had shared. At that moment, she just wanted to die. Damn. And considered taking her own life. I Damn. To die. I understand now that only God got me through. That's just so heartbreaking, guys. It's something that no parent should ever have that's to true, go through. That's true, the that's true, that's true. also read a statement by Julian's maternal grandmother. She called Bobby an angry, controlling, and vengeful person. Bobby Hernandez kidnapped him because he wanted to get even with Julian's mother for leaving him. This is not a sign of a good father. She asked That's the true. court to give Bobby a sentence that was as long as their pain and suffering had been. Even so, when Julian stood up to speak, he begged the judge not to send his father to jail, saying that he was a good father and that- If the son co-signs it and says the dad was a good dad, I'm kind of conflicted because yes, it's kind of weird kidnapping your son, especially making the, mom, the mother feel like her son is presumably dead. I don't know. I'm actually interested into how long they're going to give him, but I don't know, man. Like he ain't really- he, 
Uh, I'm conflicted. He had forgiven him for what he did. Even though everyone wants to talk about all the bad things he's done and doesn't think it's possible to forgive somebody for something like this, I think that he's done a lot of good. He said that sending his dad to prison would just add to the pain he felt when he was away from his mother. And yes, growing up without my mother was painful at times, but taking my father away from me now is just increases the pain from that. And then the judge asked him if his dad ever told him about his mother, and his answer was just heartbreaking. What do you say? I really care. My father was there, and he was all they ever needed. Now, damn, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, as a mother, I'd be like, all right, f that nigga, nah, 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 arrest his ass. He was probably content with the fact that he had no mother. He was probably like, oh, well, I don't really need her anyway. Who cares? I'm sure that Julian was confused and just wanted to get his dad out of trouble, but I know that that statement really broke his mom's heart. When it was time for him to speak, Bobby broke down in tears and apologized to Julian and his mom for everything he put them through. Yeah. I offer my apology to my son and to his mother and her family. Normally, such charges would fetch a minimum sentence of 54 years Damn! in prison. Damn! But the judge decided to give Bobby four years in prison, followed by five years of supervised release. That ain't Before that bad. handing her sentence, the judge described the crime as a mother's nightmare. This case is a, uh, a mother's nightmare. Um, it's very no questions about it. Bobby did try to get an early release from prison in 2017 after only serving a year of his four-year sentence. There's no information whether he succeeded or not. Maybe if he, if he was a good person. Julian was with his mom. Although we also don't have details about how it all went down, you can imagine how emotional it must have been. This case is truly heartbreaking, and I do feel bad for Julian. He grew up thinking that his mom didn't care about him, and just when he learned to live with it, he found out that the only person he trusted in the entire world was lying to him. That must have been a huge blow. Facts, I can facts, see facts. him torn between supporting the man who raised him or the woman who gave birth to him. Who's your nigga's favorite parents? Is it your mom or dad? I love both of my parents, I'm not gonna lie. And for all you these stereotypical niggas. You have a dad? Yes. Yes. I would have to choose my mom just because, you know. But I, I like my dad too. I feel bad for her. I hope he's in good um, terms with his, his mom. And he probably craved for all of his life. But the person who really suffered from all of this was Julian's mom. Facts, facts. She went through unimaginable pain for 13 years, not knowing whether her son was dead or alive. Every holiday and birthday was a constant reminder of what she had lost. And the fact that she never asked the judge to give Bobby a heavy sentence for what he had put her through just shows the kind of person she was. This guy wronged her in every way possible. She would never be able to get back the 13 years that she had lost in her son's life. Yet when she had a chance to condemn him, she didn't. She knew that despite her pain, her son still loved his dad and needed him in his life. So she Doe took the high road and decided to leave everything to the judge. Doe That's mom. admirable. Now, I won't deny that Bobby loved Julian and was a good father to him, but his actions were just selfish and malicious. He knew that taking Julian away from his mom would devastate a lot of people, including his own son, yet he went ahead. He said that he was afraid of losing his son, yet he put Julian's mom through the same kind of pain that he was afraid of. I don't know about you guys, but I think he deserved the sentence he got or maybe more I, I think he got the right amount but anyways youtube that does conclude the video about the missing boy who was found three years later in conclusion don't steal your kid i don't know is that regular advice i hope it's not but if you did watch the video and you got to the end make sure you guys subscribe join us on discord and catch us on twitch 5 30 p.m pacific standard time links in the description like stuff for life love y'all and peace